certified 10 years in a row. All right, made it to the end of the week and it's feeling uh, spring-like today. We'll take today, even if changes are on the way, Alana. Well, and they are, so I hope you do to enjoy today because we've got cloud cover that's already moving in. Great shot from Alta. Our mountains actually going to pick up some additional snow. Avalanche danger will rise after this weekend because those changes are rolling in. New wind advisory to talk to you about that's going to impact a portion of your weekend and one of our major roads. Wet weather is right around the corner and yes, the answer is yes to accumulating snow, not just in the mountains either. We're looking at the potential in our valleys. Backside of the Wasatch right now, pretty shot from Liberty where you can see clear skies out there and we know it's been a nice day as those temperatures rebounded to average after being below average for several days. High pressure helping with that. That sinking air really bringing in clear skies. Some cloud cover moving over the Uintas and heading towards the Beehive State, which you see in the corner of your screen. We will see increasing clouds for our Saturday as well as stronger winds, so that's something we have to get ready for. Daytime highs today hit the norm and just went right above it. 57 in Salt Lake, 1 degree above average, low 70s in St. George. We saw 50s and 60s statewide. Heading into tonight in Salt Lake in particular, we'll be falling into the 40s, so we'll see seasonal temperatures. We'll get a little chilly as we head into the overnight, but all in all, really not bad. Let's look at the big picture. Tell you what's going on in the weather world. We've got that high pressure in control, but it doesn't stay in control for much longer. It starts to break down into tomorrow, which means Utah becomes sandwiched between two systems that will allow for strong southerly flow, mild temperatures with windy conditions, and then the wet weather moves in on Sunday. Stormy conditions will clear, but we get cooler air behind it. We keep our eye on that ridge out there in the Pacific because that means warming is on the way and a drying trend following this next storm. That Wind advisory, northwest corner of the state and I-80 will be the road that is impacted with some crosswinds. Any roads from east to west will definitely see those issues. We are looking at gusts up to 50 miles per hour. This goes into effect Sunday morning. will stay in effect throughout the day. Great Salt Lake Mountains and Desert should know and secure loose objects right now. Park Valley's part of this over towards Wendover, and we could see some blowing dust. Future cast keeps us quiet, but tomorrow more cloud cover, and then by the evening that cold front is knocking on the door. It's going to move in, bring valley rain, and mountain snow, but cold air comes with it, which will turn that valley rain over to snow. There's that moisture. Here we are early Sunday morning. We watch as that band moves through. This is by lunchtime and we get straight snow with some sloppy conditions expected in our valleys. That does extend all the way down to Cedar City and we're looking at rain in St. George. Eventually those showers will move to the east. High pressure sets up afterwards. When it comes to snow, three to eight inches in the mountains. Our benches could get one to four, a trace to three in our valleys, and we know it will be sloppy. Spring starts on Sunday. So it will be sloppy spring snow that doesn't stick around for long. 50s and upper 60s in Salt Lake tomorrow. Mild conditions there. 68 in Moab, 60 in Cedar City, and 74 in St. George. Next seven in Washington County. Rain on Sunday. Warming and drying trend to follow, getting to the 80s by next Friday, 80 degrees. The warmth is knocking. Here's a look at the Wasatch Front. Sloppy Sunday ahead as we kick off spring. The warming trend will take us from the 40s to the 50s to the 60s. Windy and cloudy for tomorrow. Glenn, Emily, over to you.